Hey, Super Josh 171 back again with another video. This is another video, or actually it's my first video with Shiva. It's uh, not the first time I've fought this person. But it was an interesting battle. And sadly, as you can see at the beginning of all of these videos, they'll have either straight zeros or numbers. The zeros means that I wasn't able to upload it onto the Nintendo Wi-Fi. Which means that the Pokemon aren't legit. Which is sad because this was actually a pretty fun fight. But, whatever. You've seen what's been going on so far. I'll walk you through the rest. Alright, Stealth Rock, Energy Ball. This one's also four times speed, so that's why it's flying through right now. Oh, it tries to hit me with the ground type attack. Did not work so well. Sadly, I missed with my Leech Seed. That would have been nice to been draining his health slowly and I know that he is choice scarfed the Glaceon is because last time I fought him his Glaceon was up against my Umbreon and froze him which gave him the win alright stealth rock he's gonna get a payback in blow away his rocks he's gonna hit me with another payback Sadly, that's... Oh, I did break his substitute. That's right. I thought that his sub survived that one. Okay. Glaceon against Stank. Hit him with a Will-O-Wisp. Ice Beam's going to be pretty mean. But luckily, after the Flamethrower, I was able to take him out with the Burn. Use the sub, pain split doesn't work against the sub, and, well, it just wouldn't have been good anyways. Flamethrower, take out a substitute. Poison takes him down to where he can't make another sub. I used Will-O-Wisp, knowing that he was going to sucker punch again. And instead of using Will-O-Wisp again, for some reason I bumped the wrong button and hit pain split, which actually lost me some health. T-Wave is going to be the death of me here. There we go. There was my Parahax right there. Didn't even get the attack in. Could have T-Bolted him for okay damage at least. Fire Petal going to seed him. He's going to T-Wave me, which again sucks. But at least I get a little bit of drainage. Didn't do anything. Sleep Powder worked out beautifully in this case, and so did the Stealth Rocks, taking 50% damage. And Hidden Power Fire is going to take him out. Throws out his sub. Again, Paralysis is the death of me here. He's going to Ice Punch me, just barely take me out after the calculation, but hey, it happens. And sadly, I had actually planned on changing this slow bro into a... Um, oh my gosh, I can't even think. A Shadow Ball and um the stupid fighting special attack move that i can't think of the name of right now i was going to switch his attacks to those right before this fight but i didn't do it so he's pretty much just going to wall me with that other with his slow king and he's faster than me so he's going to be able to slack off any damage that i throw his way so i'm trying to hit him with a couple psychics here knock down his special defense didn't do jack Throw out my Umbreon, know that he's going to switch to his Horror Show. I switch right away to my Gold Licks. Throws out the sub. Try to break the sub with the Earthquake, but I'm not even able to do that. So I throw up a Curse, hoping that it would give me enough to live. He got me with a critical hit, though, so it did kill me. Used Payback. Finally break his stupid substitute. And then he's going to throw in his wall to me. 
This is what made the fight so long was these two stupid Pokemon. I ended up just telling him, you know, it wasn't even worth it, I was going to give up. And then I threw out Kalel, and, well, there's no way I can just let my Umbreon die. So he throws out his amazing counter to me. And, again, I was paralyzed, which I just keep getting rocked by that. Curse up protect myself a little bit from his focus punch still does well over half and protect myself get a little bit more HP recovery and the paralysis takes me out so that's that it was fun Shiva next time try grabbing some Pokemon that I can upload to Nintendo and thanks everybody for watching